Welcome to the Saturday, the full moon edition of Spotting Tampa International. Is that gorgeous or what? 5 a.m. Yeah, OMG, it's early. What does the O stand for? Oh, I need my coffee. I appreciate you being on board. Let's get right into the aviation action. Oh, yeah. The early bird catches the worm. 757 rocket ship. Channel flight 938, Tampa ground. I'm gonna give you runway 10 today. Feet off the tack, go right across the airport. Runway 10, taxi. Delta. 11, 16, 757, rocket ship service data. No, but the hands airport, let's have a six meter international airport. Getting us started. Channel flight 938, you're gonna have new climate restrictions here, already copy. I think they got an exec jet. Flight 938, departure, flight runway, runway, runway 10. 10. Expect 260 and 10, and departure. The, the east side is still closed one, due to construction. One right, no opportunity. Oh, look at that with the moon back there. second or two. Gonna have a major obstacle. Long-term parking garage in my face. But here they are starting their runway 10 takeoff. That's the economy garage in the background. someplace. Oh, top secret location. There they go. Oh, that didn't take long. It's the first of about 12 billion Southwest Boeing tails we'll see this morning. Yep, everybody's going to be on the west side. One left. It's super thanks, super shout out time here at TPA. Super shout out and super thanks to Michael Heller. Disney World Ron. K Drive 23. Mita. Alan Petschkow. And Kevin Hebert. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Disney World Ron. Thank you, K-Drive. Thank you, Mita. Thank you, Alan. And Ken, thank you, Kevin, for supporting the channel. It's truly, truly appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel as well, please check out the Super Thanks icon. Back we go to the aviation action. Rocky Mountain. Colorado, 2912 to Denver. The Mile High City. Are they still skiing out in the Rockies after all that snow we had this winter? Isn't it a magical time of day? All the lights.
this. Full moon setting. And not one, but two southwest taxiing for one left. Ooh, that's got to be a max. I can tell by those strobe lights and the uh, tail lights. Well, the reason I was up at O Dark 30, I wanted to uh, catch all the inbound traffic that starts about 5:20 in the morning, 5:30, 5:35 working on the time lapse. I wanted to get some cool cool footage out of that. There's like nothing inbound. Where is everybody? What's going on? <laughs> Don't tell me I got up at 4 o'clock for nothing. 32.15. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. tell the uh, LED lights on the new Maxes. Be right. Headed to the aircraft carrier runways of Chicago's Midway. Busy airport, short runways. talking about. Here comes some A-rivals. That's Delta from Los Angeles. The first one and the second one is FedEx. Turning downwind. You ask? Yeah, I'm here to help. People often ask, what does TPA stands for? What TPA stands for? The perfect airport. You got it, kids. TPA, the perfect airport. <laughs> I gotta love it. Well, our flight from Los Angeles is actually behind us now, turning final. There's the FedEx. And behind the FedEx is another Delta flight, the Red Eye from Salt Lake City. This is what I've been waiting for. Phew. Hope it shows up good on the time lapse. Fingers crossed. Delta is 910, 2,151 miles from LAX, Los Angeles, California. Departed 10 minutes late, arriving 10 minutes early. Looks like four hours and 15 minutes on flying time. Oh, come on in. Hey, and there's the FedEx turning final back, way back there. That new plane smell. <sighs> the A321 Neo. 
The kids will be flying this flight back in 15, 14 days now. They arrived late into Tokyo. Their train to take them to Tokyo Station to catch the bullet train was delayed. And then the bullet train was canceled due to the heavy rains. So they had to scramble and find a hotel last second upon arrival to Japan. Look at that FedEx in behind with the old dingy yellow lights and the A321neo with the new LED lights. A little different. So doing anything special this weekend? This is Saturday morning, so it will post Sunday. Hope you enjoyed yesterday's video. We we're lucky enough to catch a 43-year-old or 43-year-old Rockwell executive jet. That was quite the quite the find. I had never seen one in person before. And then I put out a bonus edition yesterday afternoon as well. Some of my favorites from the last three weeks. Tons of freighters. Well, less than four and a half hours ago, they were sitting in Los Angeles. FedEx 1410 from Memphis. Hey, this 7.6 isn't that old. It's only two years old, but it doesn't have that awesome LED lighting. What a difference, huh? I may be forced to get up early tomorrow to watch that full moon land again. <laughs> that was full moon set. <laughs> the moon's not landing anywhere. I think once these guys touch it down, we'll move up to the short-term garage. We're going to have a lot of takeoffs. For the 6 a.m. rush hour. Let's make the move. 
three, two, and presto. We're now at the top level, the short term. America, top 40, that's 1742, headed to IDK, I don't know, flight radar shows it as NA. See 5505, the uh, UPS 767 this morning. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, one left, Frontier Flight 4026. 4026 to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Cleveland, Ohio. This little dude on the back is Bori, B O R I. Looks like some kind of frog? Toad? I'm not sure I have to look at the picture again. <laughs> Can't tell quite what it is. He, she, Bori. Bori sounds masculine, I guess. Am I allowed to say that anymore, even? Bears typically eat vegetation, berries and that kind of stuff. Okay, 11.02. You've been cleared. You know what to do. T and B. Never to be confused with T and A. Well, are they going to do it, kids? Did you hear all those crows behind me? Oh my gosh, they're coming to get me. They're forming an army. The temperature one left, line up and wait. Line up and wait, Mr. Five, what are you thinking? Well, they didn't stop. I'm not sure I could, would call that a turn and burn. They're moving pretty good. Nicely done. Oh, that 
little speck we just saw going the other direction. I think that's Alaska 360 from Seattle to Red Eye. Cubby! <laughs> 4858. Sorry, gang, no destination on the flight radar 24. Home to Delta. Frontier. Air Canada. Clear land on 0307. Clear land on 1 mile. 386 to ATL. Spirit in the sky. Sixty, the latte, the coffee shop special, arrives. One left. Mark your flight seven zero eight. One hour late. Two of the seven hour arrives. Continue to reduce your speed. They departed an hour late. All right. Continuing and we'll proceed. Oh, do I hear a auxiliary power unit getting ready to start? I have to wait. I've got a ten mile final. But I'm going to wait for one back to the other side. Overhead right now, but I can't see it in the clouds, is a Cathay Pacific 747. Anchorage to Miami. Cargo. Fifty-two to Havana, Cuba. Oh yeah, the cigar special. Seven three seven Max. All right, I'm corn-fused. This says this is Frontier 708 from Seattle. They have a Seattle flight. And even more confusing, it says flying time, three hours and seven minutes. That's not possible. I think there's some error here. How about maybe this is from Denver? Yeah, I just double checked it. Thinking, okay, what am I doing wrong? If I forgot, I screwed something up. Yeah, this is Frontier. And this should be Parrish and Daisy, our little owl buddies. bet dollars to donuts. This is not from Seattle. 
Give a hoot. Nice pair of hooters. <laughs> get it? Nice pair of hooters. You can't get this kind of entertainment just anywhere, kids. If you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button, like, share, and hit the notification bell. Make sure to check out the super thanks icon. Our burrowing, burrowing owls. Looking good. Looking good. 38, 24, 23 year old 767 heavy jet. Drum roll. Brrr. Don't faint. And thank you for living through the trials and tribulations of a new kitchen. It's done. It's completed. I shouldn't tell you, but we're on to bathroom remodeling now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what made us get into this mode of remodeling, but we are. Our kids said the Singapore flight, their first business class flight, was just simply amazing. Matt's, <laughs> he's dreading coming back because I come back Tokyo to LA on Singapore Air business class. And then from there, they transfer over to a Delta flight uh, in coach. <laughs> That will feel a little different.
Marching to death. Just pushing 33. Thirteen thirty-eight. This for the longest time was our MD eleven. Now we're getting a seven six seven. <laughs> UPS. It's still heavy. We'll take it. But yep, there's no UPS and no FedEx MD eleven here today. Short final for one left. With one stop into the Sky Center building. Thirty-six. That's Betty, not Betty Crocker. That's Betty the Bluebird livery. Headed to what happens to me every time I get on ice? I slip. <laughs> Where else can you get this kind of entertainment value for this price? Ooh, look who's behind Betty. That's 1044 757 rocket ship service to ATL without the winglets. That's all right. I'll take it either way. I'll take it any way I can get it. If it's a rocket ship, count me in. You're probably saying to yourself, self, <laughs> what happened to Betty? The Bluebird livery. How'd our rocket ship get ahead of them? Well, Betty apparently has a problem. Frontier called in. Ooh, a little condo action. It said they need to make a phone call. <laughs> so they're at the extreme furthest end. So traffic can get past them down there on one left. Okay. 1044, one hour, 757, rocket ship fun. See you, Betty. I hope whatever it is, you can get it repaired, fixed in a hurry. Uh, got 150 unhappy people on that Frontier flight right now. Especially if they're making a connection, that really messes things up. Four zero seven to one of the world's busiest airports. If you guess Chicago O'Hare, you win. The Windy City, this Airbus A320. Ooh, a little condo, little condo. We'll take it. Six hours! Maybe five and a half, depending on the winds. A long domestic flight. Raise 
A lot of fuel on board. Well, that's my unit then. Bearcat 30 scanner going beep. That means feed me, feed me. I need two AA, two, two, two AA batteries. Rocket does not want to leave Tampa Bay. There's a lot of yummy tarpon swimming around these waters this time of year. Yeah, it's Captain Neo time. That's 33, 45 kids to DTW. Boy, the sun came out at the right time to light up this uh, banana, huh? See you, Norman. Well, I think all my complaining paid off. Southwest 3453, they found out about the strike I was starting here. Oh yeah, it's Lone Star. We broke the streak. It's over. The strike is officially over. Take off one there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. 